A function is defined to be a set of points, x, y, such that for every x, there is only one y. One and only one y. And the notation we use is y equals, or f of x equals. Now these are equivalent statements. As a matter of fact, in some problems, we may start out with y equals, and you'll see me change to f of x equals. So suppose I have f of x is x squared minus 5x plus 8, and I want to find the function evaluated at negative 6. You hear I say that. The function evaluated at x equals negative 6. So f evaluated at negative 6 is negative 6 squared minus 5 times negative 6 plus 8. So this is 36. Negative times negative is positive. So I get an answer. 74. Now, I'm going to diverge a little bit. What if I had wanted this function evaluated at, say, mm, x squared? That tells me everywhere I have x squared, x, I'm going to plug in x squared. So this is x squared squared minus 5 x squared plus 8 or x to the 4 minus 5x squared plus 8. Okay, let's try another one. What if I want the function evaluated at, um, let's say, the square root of x. Let's do something weird. So this is the square root of x squared. Everywhere I have x, I plug in square root of x minus 5 times the square root of x plus 8. Now this is just going to be a mess. Now the square root of x squared, this is going to be um, x minus 5 square root of x plus 8. And I'm going to need to put on here that x is greater than or equal to 0. I'm going to have to restrict my domain. Now what we've been doing is finding composite functions, not evaluating at a point, but doing a composite function. Suppose I tell you f is x squared minus x plus 1 and g of x is 2x plus one, minus 1. And I want to find f evaluated at g, and that g is evaluated at negative 1. Always start at the inside and work your way out. So what is g evaluated at negative 1? Well, I'm just going to move to my g function. This is 2 times negative 1 minus 1. So this is negative 2 minus 1, or negative 3. Now, I'm going to take this, and let me switch colors for you. F evaluated at g of negative 1 is F evaluated at negative 3. So everywhere in F that I have x, I'm going to plug in negative 3. So this is negative 3 squared minus negative 3 plus 1. So this is 9 plus 3, plus 1, or 13. Now another thing we do a lot of in calculus is piecewise functions. So what this says is the function is x squared minus 3 as long as x is positive, and 2x plus 1 when x is negative. So I wanted to find f when x is 5. Well, is 5 uh, in this region or this region? And of course, it's in this region right here, x is positive. So f of 5 is equal to 5 squared minus 3, or 25 minus 3, or 22. Now, one thing we're always looking at is the behavior on, of both sides near this point right here, x equals 0. So, for grins and giggles, let's find what f of 0 is. Now, which one are we going to use? See, here it does not equal 0 here. Here, the functional eva function evaluated at 0 will also be this x squared minus 3. So it's 0 squared minus 3, or negative 3. Now, it's plain to see if I plug 0 in here, I'm not going to get negative 3. And this will be used a lot when we get into calculus.